uh, Christian Vigil for the late Chief Patrick as his featured choir administration, praise singing, intercessory prayers, and words of exhortation on the need for the Robos to sustain and improve on the legacies of the late UPU President General. In his message of encouragement, Bishop Cyril Odutemu extolled the sterling qualities of retired Major General Patrick Aziza, a one-time registrar of the Nigeria Defense Academy, NDA Kaduna, former military governor of Kebi State, a former member of the federal cabinet, a successful businessman, and immediate past president general of UPU. Bishop Odutemu charged Urobo people to shun disunity, corruption in all its ramifications, as well as the pull him down syndrome, so that the Urobo nation can attain the desired prime position in the scheme of things. For the Urobo people, his rule is unquantifiable. We are proud that God gave him to us. We felt touched that he didn't live as we expected, but he has fulfilled his time, and we are grateful to God. In their messages of appreciation, a representative of the Aziza family, Mrs. Grace Akusu, and a representative of the UPU ESCO, Chief Tuesday Onoge, who spoke on behalf of the acting President General of UPU, Chief Joe Omene, commended the Yoruba clerics and other Christians for kick-starting Chief Patrick Aziza's burial with prayers. They urge the entire Yoruba nation to support the UPU and the Aziza family towards achieving a successful burial for the late UPU President General. In their separate interviews with DRL TV News, the senior political advisor to the governor, Chief Igor Yotayamori, and a UPU stalwart in the United Kingdom, Chief Stella Uwale Agogoya, and joined the Urobo Nation to remain united in love despite the demise of Chief Patrick Aziza. They urge Urobos at home and in the diaspora to rally around the UPU executive in furthering the course of Urobo ethnic nationality in all phases of life, especially in the present political dispensation. He, the uh, Aziza, is a noble man and is a man of character. He is a principled man and has integrity. So with this, I think the robots really, he's very been missed by every one of us. Uh, he left a legacy behind. He has brought a lot of unity to the people. And that unity, I believe, uh, should continue with the legacy he left behind. The seven days burial ceremony of late Chief Patrick Aziza continues on Tuesday, the 7th of October, with Airway Aurobo paying their last respect for the late UPU President General at his country home at Dagbrasa Ugolo at 2 p.m. Gadwin Oradahwe reporting.